easy in love, love to new easy in love to new recon teams.
Okay, nobody panic. Nobody panic, but the stream is, uh, the stream is a go. The music is too loud. I'm gonna try and, try and fix the audio as we go, as we always do. We've got to win seven. It's gonna be pain and suffering for 90 minutes. It's win seven. Win five, Le Grand Creek. No one fucking likes this layout. This is the worst layout. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be pain. It is gonna be pain. Expect big fights up in the town. That's probably gonna be where we spend a lot of our time today. And two caps first, though, of course. Of course. We've got CHMA. We've got FOC. It's going to be a lot of fun today. My dog's barking in the background, and I can't do anything about it. But you're just going to have to suffer him having a little shout there. He'll be fine. We've got a tank snipe coming from CHMA. I love to see it. Let's go take a quick look at this. I don't get to ping. We've got a butter dog. Where are you at, butter dog? All the way back here. He's on for the truck snipe. That'll be aiming right at the road, one might have thought, but we're gonna we're gonna follow this one all the way. Where's he shooting? It's gonna go to the left of this building over here. Oh, maybe it's not going for the road. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's going for something up here. Who knows? But we're gonna watch these trucks anyway, because there's definitely a little truck snipe on the cards here. You see anything interesting from these guys? A lot like FOC, you got much going on. They've got double supply truck. One's going deep, I would imagine. Um, although I don't actually know what that, that one's up to, to be honest with you right now. But the game is live. And I certainly don't hear any shots coming off. Unless, of course, it's going to go somewhere else. That music's just suddenly got very loud. That's the first explosion. Truck type, not the one. It's not hitting. It's going to be close, though. Certainly going to be close. Just going for through the wrong bit of the hedge by the looks of things. Oh, looks like it's all good. All gravy for the FOC boys. As they are making their way through to win seven. This is going to be a fun one. Let me, uh, let me fucking fix this music, man. Why is this song so loud? Ridiculous behavior from them. Right, there we go. Players jumping out from CHMA, early doors. MG's looking to try and get himself set up. And here's a little spot he'll be going for the little three-story. Just in the center of our screen, I would imagine. Two trucks coming into the center of win seven from CHMA. We've got one stacked truck from FOC and a recon vehicle making its way. Into Is the recon vehicle carrying anyone? I'd love to see when recon vehicles have like a... Um, and that's it doesn't. They've got a lot of players in the point already. Big explosion comes down. Squad lead is crawling. Get the flares up, boys. Get the recon tank going. That recon tank's about to get absolutely fucked, isn't he? Oh, kills out the engineer that was running at him. The artillery's dropping. This is gonna be pure chaos. Both ourselves, though, right next to each other. Bold moves. Bold moves from FOC doing that play. My god, did they fucking wipe them? The artillery is a deadly right now. The tanks are a deadly right now. They do have the outpost up, though. That is the crucial bit. If they can get the artillery dropping just by that green truck right there, they'll get plenty of kills. They're getting it, that's for sure. Big rocket flies over as well. A little rocket snipe coming out from FOC. This opening fight is pretty heavy in here, but it's going the way of CHMA right now. Just about. They've got to gotta do something, though. About these FOC players, because they're getting the upper hand very, very slowly. This recon tank is in such a good location. Such a good spot. Should be able to clear out some of these outposts. He goes down, though, as the, well, as the Stuart comes in now. So they've recognized they need another, another bit of heavy... Um, uh, firepower in there. As the Stuarts dive, the Lukes is having to dive now. Jagdpanzer, Eski, and Jaeger are now into the point. There he is, just shredding. But they've got themselves a safer outpost. Pell let loose with a clever little outpost there. And dropping it just slightly off of the wall. That should be a little bit safer for them. And they surely are going to cap this point at this stage. Let's take a quick look across the map, though. FOC wrapping around. This is lovely. I really like this from FOC. But they're going to try and corral these guys um, into uh, this little town area. Let's take a quick look at the map. Yeah, 
Good garrison set up so far from CHMA. Um, they are pretty much entirely within the cap sector. The flares are up, they're good. Um, and the tanks are also still live as well. Double Luke's opening from them. And it's certainly the Luke's within the point that's going to be doing a lot of the damage. The artillery's just cleaned out the final outpost spawn and Quokka and Tyson are going to be safe. And that is all of the FOC players cleared out from Win7. And there we go, Chris. Thank you very much for watching. That's the end of this game. And uh, no one ever caps Win7 back. Just not possible. Blah, 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 blah. I'm joking. Of course I'm joking. Hopefully we'll see. Hopefully we'll see something. But that Stuart is vulnerable to rockets from the side, of course. Rockets to the front as well. And that Lux is just slowly making him turn. There should be another AT player any moment now, I would have thought, looking to try and get rid of this FAC sniper. Poor guy. What is he up to there? Not going to be a fun time for him. We'll have to see, though, how CHMA do. They're going to try and take the Iron Cross area, which is just below us in the center of our screen. And that's the area they've got to try and get themselves through and into. So if they can um, keep control, and this is this is going to be crucial, they've got to keep control of the crossroads up here, they've got to keep control of the Iron Cross, because I'm uh, going to be honest with you, all of this area is fucking shit, so no one wants to push. Uh, I'd be amazed if FAC ever uh, managed to get up, oh, up to this area here, um, and so really there's only a couple of eight ways in, it's sort of through the Iron Cross, and if you can manage to take... Um, the, the crossroads you can usually get yourself into a decent spot to just really put the stranglehold in Stuart goes down just below the medium uh, tank is still up for foc they're just kiting away down here on this hedgerow lovely lovely position from them and off in the distance i believe we see the panzer four has uh pushed up just a little bit we've got a gangbangs uh, panzer four there i'm loving these foc rocket snipes they're just absolutely yeeting them into the point um, I don't know how much damage they're doing um, for now. I've just realized uh, I need to uh, get the, the stats up. Of course, I don't have the stats. There we go. Stats are up. Coolers on 32 kills already. 10 minutes in. 9 minutes in. 8 and a half. Bear in mind, three of those are warm-up. The man is shredding. I dread to think what his KPM is right now. Uh, I'm not going to do the math live on stream, but this fight down here um, between... Uh, the, the squads within the town is really, really crucial right now. I'd like to see CHMA drop a few more players into this area. And just really kind of commit into this. Um, the Mumji here is uh, is holding the line off. He takes down Mr. Cheese. He's got Bearded coming for him. Does he know he's there? He does. Great shooting from Mumji as uh, he's clearly got his filters on um, as he sees him through the hedgerow. Red 6 goes down. Mumji's on fire. Mumji's absolutely popping off. Is he going to take down Gang as well? Yeah, I think he is, you know. He does. Mumji. Jesus Christ, dude. Chill. Chill. Uh, just take down Allah. I, I'm so confused. This man. This man is ridiculous. Doesn't see Butterdog off in the distance, though. Doesn't see him. As Mumji now makes a little push, shooting up the road. Is he trying to take down Entice, maybe? He eventually goes down after a fantastic little life there from Mumji. Really, really good play from them. Looks like they've still got some squads back here looking to try and make their way around the side of this town fight. And that makes a lot of sense to me um, if they can kind of... Uh, oh, yeah, let me grab the arrow. If they can make their way around like this sort of line... I think they'll uh, they'll really then be able to get some good pressure um, onto the rear of this. Let's take a quick dive back down towards win seven, though, and just see, are they making any progression up the road? It's all known already. Ovi, the only one particularly looking to go for it, and I think this Lokes is uh, really going to be shutting down a lot of that approach. Kingsley there. Going to be shutting down the FOC players. Some artillery dropping in now um, to this zone. As uh, CHMA have just got a few players looking to try and push their way through the Iron Cross. But when all you've got all that artillery landing around you, yeah, it does become particularly difficult. Um, you don't need too much to hold this area, but you do need, you do need to hold it. It is absolutely vital um, that you do. Uh, there's uh, any sort of uh, chance of losing it uh, should be avoided. FAC, you don't have too much within um, this uh this house just here the three-story attic building 
as they're looking to try and get their MG set up. Artillery is still absolutely shredding, though. Owlfish goes down to the MG. At the moment, though, CHMA looking very, very comfortable indeed. Looking very, very well set up um, for this point. Let's take a quick look at the map. Nothing in the back line here. Looks like, actually, they had a supply truck up here, which goes down because FOC on the on the re reef flank almost really because it looked like um we were going to see uh, cheesecake here go on the reef flank of this attacker just try and uh, try and press down i'd like to see someone um from chma just get this wider garrison up and push themselves back down um in towards the line maybe even um you know get themselves deep and just get that attack going towards win five because i don't can't imagine foc have too much down there but at the moment, God, my dog is going absolutely mental. This is terrible. Um, I'm on my own today, so there's no one to go wrestle him, unfortunately. Um, but we've got FOC really looking to try and pressure um, Mr. Cheesecake Squad and Butter Dog Squad out of this area. Oh, got a little bit of a hand-holding thing going on over here. What are we doing, boys? What are we hand-holding? Look, I love it. I love to see you guys follow each other, but... Oh, Spherical goes down. Red Six gets himself a little bit lucky. Another Stuart up, actually, from FOC. As they're now looking um, to maybe try and put a little bit of firepower into this area. An FG-42. What's going on today? Hang on. First you're holding hands, and then I see an FG-42. It's not things you see every day. That's Stuart quite rightly backing out of the area. Doesn't fancy tangling. He's a, he's a vulnerable boy. Rockets from all sides can damage him. Um, and being just a two-man perhaps doesn't have the entire situational awareness that he needs to. Oh, uh, these guys have managed to actually push through the Iron Cross, so somehow they've got through the artillery wall. And Glove is up and into this building now. Probably wiped out anything they had just nearby. Looks like they've still got just one outpost there by Wormzera, though. Rookie is still up if they need to replace it, but Glove just working his way through this building right now as Mav is looking to press through. He goes down to a rookie. Powerfish is pushing up, but let's we'll see how he does. Got to try and get through this artillery hall. First of all, Powerfish makes it into the bunker. Takes out a rookie very nice indeed. I think both, play both teams' artillery is possibly dropping into this area. It looks like FOC's artillery on 46 kills right now. Crazy, crazy stuff from them. They're committing a token force out here. I, You know, this makes sense. I'd maybe like to see a rep station up by this medium tank. Just for that little bit of survivability if they so need it. They could absolutely take down um, the Lukes. Um, they do have double rep stations up by the 76. Um, not too sure on the placements. I don't know whether they're actually close enough for him to be able to use um, in that position. You want that rep, those reps coming up straight away if possible. This garrison's necessary. I hate it though. Um, there's nothing you can really do or move in from this area. You can't really push um, that open trenchway um, just up ahead of us here. You can't really push through this. Um, so I'd be surprised if CHMA ever actually let that one go. So just have to leave like this token force out there. And of course the tanks tend to um, congregate in that area as well. I think Mav now taking the place of Powerfish. FAC tried to push through just a little bit. Um, but for right now, unable to do so. Just the one outpost within this area by the looks of things. Just rookie. As MGs are a fire and in that area. Looks like the artillery is pushed back just a little bit now. Um, as they're looking to uh, just try and control the this, this stream of CHMA players making their way through. But maybe Boynian's actually got his outpost up just a little bit more progressed. Av is down. Boynian's the one to hold. Really don't want to lose this area. Um, but of course, artillery will just shut it down. Artillery will just shut it down. Let's take a quick look across the map though. FOC not making too much ground up just yet. They are in... Um, to the town a little bit though. They've got some players up by Chapel. Targa's looking to go on that wide flank. But CHMA definitely looks like they're committing a few additional players into this area now. Um, as they look to hold back the the stream of Chinese players uh, breaking away through. Of course we do have um, uh, CHMA hailing from the OC region. Australia, New Zealand and probably many more places aside. Korea as well. Um, and then we've got FOC from China and probably more many places aside. 
kind of hard to say. Uh, you know, they're, they're English. It's an English-speaking team versus a Chinese team. Usually, the way to explain it is we just take this sort of flight around the map here. Um, it's really sort of um, staling out at this stage. It's kind of expected to be fair in sort of minutes in. Um, you tend to see this if the cap was early, and it was. It was a fairly early cap here um, from CHMA as they, uh, as they really kind of made good use um, of artillery on that opener. Let's take a quick look at the back here. Is that a Tiger having made its way forward? We're going to skip across to it um, using the admin cam hacks as they're just sat waiting. Maybe they don't know where the 76 is. Maybe there's no mark, but of course it's way, way over there. Um, actually... There's a shot on that if uh, if someone really fancied going for it. There's definitely definitely a way you can poke through that tree um, with a shell, I'm sure. But of course, they need a good mark and an accurate mark on it. Um, it can be particularly difficult. FOC dropped a lot more players into this area now, it seems. They've, uh, they've really committed into not wanting to lose this building, and that makes sense. Let's take a look at the map and why, um, you know, why that works. Um, obviously, it's the sort of kind of key position. It's right here. It's unmarked on the map. The key position um, as you make your way towards Win Five and um, sort of main route in. Of course, there's not too many ways um, that you can actually make your way into uh, Win Five, and those being the sort of main ways through. Um, of course, if you manage to break the south, of course, you can make your way sort of all the way around. There's a gap somewhere here as well um, that you can get through really get some pressure on to win five but breaking out of uh, of town is going to be crucial they really just need one squad leader um to be able to do this and i don't see anyone going on that wide flank tyson for some reason is out here but again where's the squad leader doing that just to get yourself that additional angle um up here you can get this a kind of a couple of players in towards church you could pressure down help yourself break out of this because right now they're just gonna stalemate um, the game it seems and that's okay that's a good legitimate tactic to go for it uh, with win seven once you cap you know it's difficult to lose but it is the way that it'll go um, with win seven and, and utah in general it's not a particularly uh, fun comp map to be honest with you and um, it's mg heaven it's tank heaven uh, and who particularly cares about the uh, about the MG and the tank players, really. Jane apparently has spotted a Belgian flag on the screen. I uh, I actually don't know where you might have seen a Belgian flag. I definitely didn't purposely hide one in there. Um, so <laughs> I don't know. I I don't. Oh, it's at the bottom, isn't it? Of my uh, of my um, start screen, of course. Yeah, that's uh. It's to tribute to the hard work that Jane does within the within the seasonal community. Let's go take a quick look across the map. Well, hang on a second. We've actually just got a little bit of a poke through here um, from PT Squad. We see Powerfish and Mugshot having broken their way through just a little bit. Obi now spawning in. This is a nice little breakthrough here, actually. Um, if they're able to just control um, this outpost, which is eminently controllable, um, to be honest with you, they've got a big open... Uh, gap to have to cross multiple of them in fact to, you know they're not really going to be able to break through this uh this area i wouldn't have thought foc pt's not actually being shot at you know, being shot at behind mugshot goes down ko's behind gets one kill bison's here now with him as they look to try and clear up the foc players ko misses an entire clip and gets taken out there Like none of those shots are actually going through the wooden fence, so PT takes down one. They're gonna just try and control the stem of players from this outpost, um, and if they can do that, they'll uh, they'll slowly whittle them down and, and slowly take, um, uh, you know, some of this ground. But it's good play from them to be able to do so. Mugshot is in a a weird spot for an MG. I don't not sure what you're gonna accomplish from here. I'm just gonna jump down and have a look at his positioning here. Um, he goes down. Yeah. The MG42 is not really designed for this area, is it? Pop back just a little bit. Give yourself some space to work in. Um, uh, maybe go back towards where these uh, these tigers are parked up. Get yourself up in the hopper. Go. There's no, you know the fact they've got no one up here um, is surprising, to be honest with you. Because again, 
you know, whether they're just being picked off, I don't know, but this sort of view down here is absolutely killer. Uh, just to be able to control the any players um, trying to cross that road. Always important to be able to do so, but looks like PT and Obi have actually managed to break that outpost. Very well played from them. As they now look to progress and make some ground up, they're going to be able to put some pressure on the back side of this Iron Cross attack here and from the three-story with, uh, with kind of pressure from a couple of different sides. It'll be difficult to keep that outpost alive. And it even looks like, actually, Luke and Watchmen have managed to get themselves up to this trench line, which is fairly impressive. It's not exactly the most fun spot you can be in. Curious what the explosions are back there. A little bit of artillery dropping for some reason. Not too sure. Maybe they're trying to drop it onto the tanks to get rid of the rep stations. Difficult to say, though. Let's take a look across the map, though. It may vary slowly, breaking through various little sectors. FOC still up by church. They've still got this, uh, the, the broken three-story here. As Momji, I mean, oh, come on. There's no way Momji's going to go off again, is it? Takes one hit. He did take down a couple just beforehand, though. He looks to rep up. Takes down Hidden in Shadows, I think, or at least someone does. Most of the outpost from Mr. Cheesecake, though, got some decent pressure onto it. It's down one. Looks like he gets taken down, though. There's someone with a decent view onto the outpost, though. Not sure where those shots are coming from. No idea. It could be this automatic rifleman, of course. Um, and we're actually starting to see gangbang dive for this, uh, this uh, Panzer IV just a little bit. Um, so let's take a quick look at the... The map here um, and the resources they don't quite have the resources for the third uh, tiger tank just yet um so i'm surprised they're actually starting to dive this panzer forward maybe just want to try and keep it alive unless of course they feel like they could then just grab one of the other free spawns uh for a second dive before they get the uh the third heavy up and of course grabbing those uh those the, the third heavy on a map like utah which is such a tank heavy map um be absolutely crucial but to be fair to them this panzer IV has got a lot of survivability in it only being able to be penned by the rear so some clever driving will keep them alive um for a good long time although maybe they're about to get caught by one at as he looks to make his way around the rear should get caught by kaladu though maybe not maybe spherical will catch him someone did at least and this tank's just gonna dive you'll be able to wipe out any spawns around this area there you go he takes him down squad leader still up but vulnerable mr cheesecake look at him please he goes down though not sure where from finally that squad leader goes down and they've wiped out the outpost from that area and um, which is lovely to see and that's going to give them very very um uh good spacing here and a lot of territory um that they can start trying to claim up here um and we can finally see butter dog here has got that wide outpost they're going to be able to make some ground up here um as we take a quick look back down into the fight um for the three story which has been totally won by chma now and they've got that ground and even watchman's actually managed to break through just a little bit across the open field which is massive um to be fair strafing around hello not sure about that one chief do too much damage peace strike lands onto the medium tank uh, maybe not the most uh, uh, worthwhile of kills, but of course it's a kill nonetheless. Um, and I don't actually... Oh, no, the 76 is just back a little bit anyway. Um, just back there. Looks like he didn't get caught by the, uh, by the recon plane. But with Watchmen able to put some pressure on here... Oh! Looks like there was a bit of a team kill there. And I did just see the, the splash of smoke there as Watchmen wipes out one and of the outposts on this wall. And maybe... We're going to start seeing um, FOC crumble just a little bit on this front line. They're going to need to get some more players in if they want to do this. Um, will CHMA push any of these Tigers forward? I don't know. I'm a big fan of this little spot here um, from Jagd Panzer, though. Um, really, really nice position here. Um, totally protected from the 76 despite being found. Um, and even though those rep stations are currently dead, 
and he's got his tanks in with him. Oh, one big rocket into him. Let's see where that one came from. Let's take a quick look. He's got the tanks in though. There it is. There's that fight. Up into the distance. Another turret shot are the only things um, able to damage him but right now. I don't know if they actually know where they're being hit from. They don't seem to be returning fire. It's right straight in front of them. There you go. First shot goes forward towards that 76. He didn't shadow. He's performing an absolute crucial role here for right now. Um, I'll tell you what, what I'd love to see is just one of those players actually just hop in front um, and pluck one of those shots. But they drop out just to get the little rep um, going. They've got the double rep station coming up now. Kalindu builds the second one. Must be hidden in shadows as well, having built that one. And now they're in that fight. Um, they're going to feel pretty confident here. Shot comes all the way over, though. Another whole shot comes in. Don't know whether the 76 has got rep stations. We'll have to check that out in a bit. All turret shots coming in. They're not going to win this fight, this 76, I don't think. They back off. They don't get caught here. I really want to move away from this tank fight, but I really kind of, you know, have to stick around to see the end of it. Another whole shot. I'm going to go fly, fly across because is this tank fight ever going to end? Let's take a quick look. Do they have tank simps going? Oop, I'm in a building. Uh, they've got the rep station, that's for sure. And they've got one player out repping. They've got the tank simps on as well. And so, will this fight ever end? I don't know, Chief. I'm backing out. I've... Uh, making the executive decision. I don't think it is. Not until they bring that second tiger into a spot to be able to see it. They just need to maneuver wherever that second tiger is gone. Oh, into the point, actually. Interesting. Um, didn't expect them to put it into the point, to be honest with you. I thought they'd try and wrap it around the outside a little bit, but yeah, frontal assaults, you know. It's what tanks are quite good at. FOC, though. They went for the little smoke rush across this field. It's early for the desperation play, which is what I always think this open field is. Um, but it's what they're going for. They actually, they just got to hit them to that 76. Um, player hops out immediately for the reps. Um, and I know they've got the rep stations back there. Um, so that 70, yeah, that 76 is going to stay alive as well. This tiger, all good to go. He's got the kiting ability to move back. Um, and he's got the sort of low cover as well from the, uh, the broken house in front. No, uh, no rep stations or tank simps nearby him though. Oh, I am interested by this garrison, to be honest with you. Um, a little bit a little bit exposed, but that ah, is the way it is. I suppose it's right on the edge of the map, uh, which gives you just a little bit more room uh, to be able to build elsewhere. Look, there you go. That's the thinking behind it, is that they're going to be able to get the garrison built into this three-story. That's going to allow them, I would imagine, uh, to leap off um, this to try and pressure some of these other zones um, if they really want to do that. And there we go. We see, we've see. seen the Panzer IV um, did go down. Um, I'm interested to see who these tanks are right now. What do we got? So we've got Gangbang in that uh, third heavy moving up. That's going to be crucial to this game. So they're getting pressured um, in D8 uh, by something. One player spawns back. Mav, maybe this Tiger um, and Supply Truck could do the job. Looks like Jam's bringing up those supplies as they look to try and maybe grab uh, a couple more AT guns. Um, and we've got Obi, a mugshot, um, two manning a steward with no squad leader. I'm baffled by that one uh, around here. The fuel economy here from CHMA is crazy, crazy good. Um, three heavies up. They've spawned themselves a jeep as well, and they're ready to go for another heavy, which is huge, absolutely massive. Um, in terms of the, just their fuel economy, they must be converting like crazy. Uh, to be able to get away with that. Let's take a quick look down. But like, oh, big explosion off into the distance. They finally kill that 76. I'm glad I didn't stick around for that fight. Um, yeah, looks like they did. 76 goes down. But they managed to get rid of that rep station, which was uh, which was causing them a lot of difficulties in terms of killing um, uh, this one. But actually, you know what? I like this from forever here, FAC. Um, they've got one player just back chilling in the point um and he's just going to use the binos to really sort of try and uh mark as much territory as he can they've got one um t gun up back here i'd like to see galaxy maybe hop off at which into rifleman for this sort of job though um because actually it's uh fairly important that they uh 
they've got the ability to just place more on a whim and i imagine this is his let's take a quick look across so let's take a look at this tank fight over here we saw um the 76ers um massing down here up and they're, they're actually going to go for this tiger misses the second shot that would have been the kill shot they both peaked um at the same time they've got rockets just rocket sniping down into this area. Now, I don't know whether they know it's a garrison, whether they think they're just going to be killing the rep stations. I mean, it's it's a really nice idea to get rid of these rep stations, though, if that's what their idea is. It will help them win this tank fight. There is no denying that as they just sort of drop those rockets in. Um, and we've got uh, one tank back somewhere. It must be this tiger back here um, shooting across. We've got Kingsy. Um, and his Tiger, um, at the moment, are the ones vulnerable. AT guns goes down just below. But massive play here. Hang on, I just, I totally missed this. I didn't see how FOC broke the Iron Cross. And they have actually managed to do so. That's going to force a fairly bigger reset from CHMA if they can get some good players into this zone. But the problem they're going to face is they really have the map control um, to make this stick. It's going to come down to Orzi um, and Yu Jiang here. Uh, to really make up a lot of ground because if they don't come and control in particular this hedgerow here if they don't get control of that and um, that then we're gonna see um some good sort of cross lanes of fire able to come across and as they can make their way across here and make that run uh across it's gonna be dangerous we do need one player controlling this field though come on guys foc how many players are you gonna let cross this field this is madness should never let that many players cross never should never happen um but there we go it's happened mav made it across hula now gonna start pressuring uh three story as well but will they be able to close this off i would imagine they will be able to i think we're gonna see um a bit of a dive here from mav and hollow try and grab this outpost maybe should be able to 2v1 this player headshot goes into the back go what this outpost job's done good deal that's the pressure gone and solved lovely from chma really really well played snuffing that danger out incredibly quickly um oh look at that you're quite right i do have the uh the i'll fix this uh in uh many minutes i'll fix thanks i always get this wrong it's terrible it is it is terrible uh is it this one? It's that one. There we go. Uh, quickly. Oh, no. Grab the wrong thing. Never fix your stream live. That's the uh, real trick. Never trying to do it live. Um, now I've got to work out which way this goes. Nope. Oh, that's the wrong way. I've done it wrong. <gasps> Uh-oh. Schmitz. Don't tell Jane. Wait, Jane's here, isn't she? Jane, don't tell Jane. No one, tell, no one tell anyone anything about poor professional streamerisms going on. That'll do. I don't care. Doesn't look very neat. It'll do. I don't want to touch it anymore. There we go. Anyway, I don't know. Again, again, the desperation plays kind of come off here. Oh, they, they are getting shredded by someone. I don't quite know what. Um, three, four players just goes down just below us. But again, they've made it across here. Now, the play is to sort of token hold. Um across this basically um and then put most of your force to come take this iron <laughs> oh, fucking hell okay never mind i'll see it's just shredding oh dear oh dear oh dear that's not a fun time i've got to go check the stats though because i've just noticed foc artillery which i haven't overly seen this game has picked itself up a hundred kills already let's go check this out though let's just hop over to the stats page and here we go. But let's just double check his artillery. Yep, 100 kills on the artillery already. Um, just 35 minutes into this game. And we've got Cooler there on 80. Hyperion on 46. Having a great game. 1.4. We've seen him um, pressing across a lot of this map. We've got Jinx um, coming in as well at 1.25. Um, and you can see the rest of the stats there. Um on the screen with Quokka rounding out that top 10 for right now. Head back into the game very, very quickly, though, um, as we do so here. 
Big spawn waves coming in. Second SL's made it across. And they've got to come take this iron crossroads. But they've got to come grab some of this map control. Narrow this off just a little bit. Like I said, they do not wipe um, the uh, the squad on this hedgerow. It's going to be difficult. Um, and maybe they can even try and get some of their tanks up to kite this sort of area here um, for the views across um, up to that sort of area. Maybe, 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 maybe. But down in the pits, let's go. I know people like watching this sort of fighting um, on the stream. I personally don't really care. They can leave at 1 0. Doing well. Takes down two. Can he take down the third? Can't spray transfer enough. He gets taken down. That outpost go stays alive. Mugs goes down though. Oh, no. Again, got to stay down. This is my problem. Just heard a massive explosion. That's what I miss when I come down into this area. We'll go for Aria here as he looks to go into the point. Luke firing up this road. Causing a little bit of chaos. We'll be able to cut a lot of this cross um, down, to be fair. Aria is up and progressed. Does he have the satchel? Don't know whether he does. No, he doesn't. Looks like Rutzen's a Thompson as he looks to try and take down a few players here. Boynian's outpost is just fucking awful right now. Not a fun time. Big bombing run comes in, though. Is this going to give Muggs the time? Can he go and wipe out the outpost before the spawns? He's got it just a little bit further to go. Makes the right choice. He crosses. Takes down one. Fantastic from Muggs. Get yourself up to that hedgerow. Wipe the outposts. Now for the hedgerow run. Artillery is doing work. He's been damaged, I think. Just a little bit further. You've got one more outpost to go. Don't turn away. <laughs> Don't wipe the outposts. But the artillery is going to keep them at bay. CHMA lives to fight another day. And they are doing absolute work here. This artillery on the FOC squad is doing all of the damage it needs to do it just needs to stay there until they can wipe this outpost down they know it's still here poignant goes down haven't wiped down one just the mg left to go will glove turn this corner get the mark on the outpost takes down the mg player backs off when the automatic rifleman spawns come on dive bugs goes down what is this i don't even see the airhead what the fuck is this airhead this is terrible this is a terrible airhead but they've got players into the point. FOC slowly making their way in. They're diving the tanks. Are they diving both heavies? They are. The tank sim gets knocked off through the barbed wire. Didn't think that one through, did they? Unbelievable. I can't believe they've managed to drop this airhead in. So many players going down. The tank's rolling up onto the tiger. The tiger's not going to peek, is he? All of the danger on the front door right now. Drop the artillery back onto that airhead, please. Cooler, you could do so much damage. They've taken out the outpost, though. Tyson um, Muggs is here as well. But they've got players into the point. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. 76 taking hits. Tiger goes down. Supplies into the point because the garrison's gone. The jeep's in the point. What the fuck's the jeep doing in the point? This is dive. The recon tank's gone in. No way. What a push for FOC with the world's worst airhead. Watchman takes down the recon tank. Both heavy tanks are sat inside of the point now. They've taken down one heavy. They are going to get satcheled though. Jimmy the Hand here is up close and personal. That satchel's going to get placed. It's a great placement as well from Jimmy. He's going to start backing up. No way. Do they know he's been satcheled? They do. They hop out. They're looking for the satchel placement. They're go are they going to find it? He's right in front of it. He's bandaging, not taking down the satchel. Take down the satchel, please. <laughs> you got to get rid of it. Oh, the rocket comes in just in time. Glove with the clutch rocket. This heavy's going. It goes. There's 176 is left in the point. A lot of the players are gone. I don't know if they've got the outpost sustainability here. They've not really been able to take... Um, the three-story, in fact, they've really lost it. If anything, this 76 is in so much danger. Is he going to just back out, or is he going to keep the full commit going? Artillery landed on the outposts. KO survives one tank shot. 
No way he's going to make this run. Surely not if he can get his outpost to the other side. Crucial play from KO. If he survives this, if he can just make one more hedgerow, get his outpost up, they've got fantastic aim onto the 76. Will be a risk. More cap pressure coming in because they've got so many outposts inside the point, but they're just getting shredded from this northern side here. Mugs is in there, but I mean, Karga has done some big work taking down two or three players. Crucially, Boignant's outpost is still up. But they've got control of the house. They've got the tank in the point. There's no way this tank survives a peak and tiger. Oh, he does. He gets the shot onto the tiger. No way. Rick comes off of the 76. I don't know what's just ricocheted off of him. No way. Is our Panzer IV moving his way forward? It is Panzer IV. This 76 is in so much danger right now. Our Panzer IV could make or break this if they get the kill with just the two man it'd be crazy they hop out look to try and get the reps off they don't have the sustainability in this point right now i don't think they actually they dived another tank i've just seen the stewards in the trenches is he gonna get himself out i don't he should be able to but a dog's on top he just climbs over the top of him gonna get the satchel on the roof these guys aren't gonna have a clue they've got players in the gun no idea they put the satchel inside Stuart, please just dive the infantry and you'll do some work oh artillery get some team kills wipes all that infantry out but this 76 does not have any sort of support there's only two of them left rocket comes into the 76 there from the watchman wiped out the recon tank on this push 76 goes down so much of this pressure is going a little bit of contest comes into the point here, but there's no way. They just don't have the sustainability. Just are not going to be able to keep this going. Three squad leaders on one hedgerow. Hello. A little bit of a holding hands moment. Don't know about this one, Chief. As they look to try and get some of that map control, and that's crucial. That is what CHMA did so well. Um, they knew they had to keep players in the point, but they knew they really... What was crucial was getting control. Oh, that was not what I thought it was going to be. I thought that was going to be a rectangle. They knew they had to get control of this house here. Um, they managed to do so. They kept control of Iron Cross because of that. If they'd have lost um, this house or not taken control of it, there would have been an easy feed through of players here. FOC still in the point. They made their big play here uh, halfway through this game. Looks like another tank just went down below. Um, was that the Panzer IV was pushing in, maybe? Let's take a quick look. It was the Panzer IV. They've got infantry still in this point. They still control this big house. Um, I wonder what killed that Panzer IV. Let's take a quick look um, back here, because I want to find out. Is it another 76? It does look like it. 176. No way. Double 76, is it? Back up? No, medium to German. Um, back here. So... Fuel economy not looking great if you bring out the mediums at this stage of the game. But then, to be fair to them, they did dive two 76s into the point. And CHMA have got their double tigers back up and they're going to be able to dive a recon tank in as well. So much of this point is just getting... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hollowed out. But they should be able to take this down at some stage. Um, 151 kills from the FOC artillery is just disgusting right now. Cooler must be on um, just a few behind him, actually. I'm going to take a quick look, see how many he's on, because he was on top of Outpost. He's on 118 um, at the moment within this game. CHMA. Oh, and breathe. They've cleaned out the point. What a fucking rocket snipe. Did you see that? No way did he get kills on that one. Another one could actually wipe out this outpost. What a stupid rocket snipe that was. I loved it. I'm going to sneeze though. Hang on a second. I'm going to mute myself and you're just going to... Okay, the sneeze never came, so there's a chance I might need to sneeze again. But, oh, that's horrible. That is that is not fun. FOC, though, managed to get control back of this house. He should be able to feed into the Iron Cross position. That Coco Bananas on the on the rooftop over there. No, nice positioning from him. Might be able to control for some players. I'm trying to cross here.
Hula and ADC. I don't know quite know how they've managed to cross each other. They must have just gone the other side of the hedgerow. Hula goes down. ADC's up to the uh, the wall. Should be able to control some players' movement from there. How are FOC doing in the town? I don't think Sitcher may have lost too much ground here um, within the town. To be fair to them, should be able to squeeze this area out. But they have never got anything going on win five. Ever. Nothing. They've not been able to progress at all. And they really need to try and get something to just to relieve some of this pressure. Look at the outposts they've got in the point. That is when you know you're in danger, when you've got this many outposts crowding inside of Wooden Seven. Um, to be honest with you, that explains the 160 kills from the artillery um, as well. CHMA, though, lovely, lovely reflank here coming in onto the town um, itself as they look to now try and uh, pressure these players out of position. Maybe they'll be able to clear this out. Momji's up here high period as well. We both know both of those players. Absolute slayers. Um, oh, look at this. Got a got a third side flank. Hang on, about. I don't like this weird sandwich. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fly across the sandwich here. Got CHMA. We did have FOC in there. Then it was CHMA again. Now we've got FOC. Now we've got CHMA. And now we've got FOC. What a lovely... Sandwich we've got going on. It's like a triple decker. You'll have to see it. We'll see if you may be able to win enough of these gunfights though just to clear out um, this area and this outposts um, here from Orz. Sorry, Orzy. Aperion's been able to get himself into a nice little bush spot here. Um, should be able to control anyone trying to cross that road if he so chooses. Gang, with a lovely shot, or maybe it was panic across onto Orzy. As Obi looked to go for that dive. Oh, I, uh, I need a break. To be honest with you, big explosion down below. What just dived? Like something was uh, trying to make the little progression. That's oh, a transport truck. Okay, never mind. Don't care about those. More rocket snipers coming across. I love the rocket snipers from FAC. It's really, really nice play from them. Um, they, they seem to be uh, uh, having sort of uh, uh, prepped some of those, maybe? Maybe? Oh, big artillery is coming down below. Thank you for the follow, whoever that was. I can check that out, actually. Oh, it's Das Altberg. Thanks, Das. Is that because now I'm in WTH? You feel like you can follow me? Appreciate it. As well as, uh, as, well as Wazoo, the Prince, Haida, and uh, the big Twitch TV. As well, having followed me uh, through this uh, through this stream. Do appreciate it if anyone else wants to. Well, it's nice. I like hearing the little, the little bell and the buzz. If I see if managed to get themselves into the air and cross, it's going to be shut down by artillery. One might have thought, as we see just there, uh, it does indeed happen. They really uh, are putting a lot into this, though, FAC, continuing to keep the pressure up here. But CHMA once again have broken through with a crucial head row. Head row. Head row. Head row. Blow me. I am. I am tired. Broken through the crucial hedge row here. Um, and if they can now, and they have done, take down... This outpost here, whatever they had maybe spawned them down here. Red 6 goes on a little bit of a tear, takes down 2. But finally, I think CHMA might have actually broken through another little area. Again, it's been a little while since we've seen them do this. They don't have the outpost there, though. That's the problem. The fact that it's an assault on an automatic rifleman is, uh, you know, is a little bit... Uh, ah. And they haven't quite managed to wipe out this squad here from the three-story. They'll be able to soon, though. They're getting some good width on them, actually. PT um, playing very, very wide indeed. And Heavenly as well. Heavenly's basically, I think, been in a 1v1 all game up against Jin here. Um, I don't know about, like, again... Both teams could probably, if they wanted to, just sneak through. But I think they're trying to keep them at bay here. Look at the nice little surround here coming from CHMA. Onto the one outpost. They've pretty much got a view onto it. As two players goes down, Mr. Cheesecake gets taken down. Does Obi, does Butterdog have that angle? Gang should be able to push up. He just needs to get the satchel up onto this house. Is really all they need to do. Obi goes down. Butterdog is still up, though. 
trying to take down someone. He gets taken down himself, though. Momji was going up into the grain feeder. Doesn't work, though. Um, he did actually successfully make the jump, but decides against it. And these guys are pretty much bottled into this area now. Not looking like a fun time for them on an outpost. Um, and look at this. Clean runs through here. Um, to be fair to them, they should be able to break through. They just need to control again. You know, I don't see great hedgerow control. I, you can control players moving through these areas fairly easily. There's no reason players should particularly make any progression um, up these channels. To be fair, you just seem sort of like one player for each hedgerow, and um, you'll be able to control it. But alas, the CHMA are very doing very very well here. Um, they've taken back land. They've managed to take back a three-story with the attic. I never remember the name of these buildings, man. It's terrible. I know they've got names, but I know, I know at some point I will learn them. But when I'm streaming, it's hard to remember them. When I'm playing, it's slightly different. I can actually, you know, you know, get that part of my brain intact. But uh, when you're streaming, it's slightly different. But I'm going to be honest with you. This guy's positioning is... Uh, is suspect at best. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want to be there myself. Um, should get caught by KO. I, I would think. There you go, KO. Nice easy kill on rookie. Malv should be able to go take this ground up again. Get his outpost up. Will they be able to do it? Keep control of it. I don't know. Defensive markup back there from Heavenly, which is interesting. Even the fact they just took the outpost down. Heavenly's back again, and Heavenly was that wide push. The Diesel's just out here doing his thing. I really know what he's up to, to be honest with you. But I'd like to just look, just like grab the transport, just get some sort of wide attack going here. Something, you know. I just want to see something down at win five. It's not exactly the point to defend. Um, it's not the funnest point to attack either, to be fair. But it is possible to try and uh, to try and get in and, and do some damage there. Let's take a quick look down at these tanks and see what sort of angle they're taking. I haven't looked at the tank a little bit because the tank gameplay is really boring. Um, uh, a bit of a long kite here from uh, this 176 as they look to try and get an angle onto uh, the target, chilling in the point there. This 76 is... Uh, Back in his usual spot, though. Oh, he's been joined. Will we see another dive? That's the real question. Hang about, Chief. What's this? They got a garrison up back here. No way. Actually getting players into the point. Oh, you know what? Monji coming in. A man's a beast in a 1v1. Saw that earlier in the stream. Takes down Lorvian. Should be able to wipe out anything in this trench. Looks like they have done no outposts in there. Let's take a quick look at the map to see what they've got. They've got one recon player back here. They've got Mick on the rear side. Um, and most of their outposts are on the front. I'm actually getting a little bit sick. And my throat is just genuinely just in tatters right now. Um, oh, big precision strike comes in. Takes the tiger. Lovely. Now is the time. Can they get the infantry up? Can they make these tigers? Uh, oh, sorry. The 76s dive. Maybe they're going for it. I mean, Nagi and his crew's going for it. Will we see... Artillery dropping? Looks like that was artillery dropping, taking down the rep station. Look at that outpost is. So the garrison. Um, will they will they dive these 76s? We've got three of them now. They only had two on the last push. Will they dive all three? I don't know. Certainly got the opportunity here, though. Um, to make them pay because they've had to commit so many players onto this back side. Let's take a quick look across the rest of the map. Oh, here's the vulnerability right now. Look how many players are just back here having to do the deep defensive work. But they've got all this ground they can take because they've got fuck all up here. CHMA are going to struggle, I think. I mean, well, if FOC cap try to capitalize on it. This is the time to really dump some players up here. Come take through this town. Get all of that map control back. If they so decide to. I don't know if they will or not, though. 76s. I'm, oh, chief, I don't know about this one. Um, it's a bold position. It's a bold position. 
Uh, pos uh, pos oh, oh, uh, position. Jesus Christ, I am just slowly going to die today, I think. Having to drink a lot of water to get through this one. Hopefully I don't need a wee in the next half hour. What a rocket from Glove. Big plays. Sorry, Chief, I didn't mean to catch that one on stream. Um, FOC, are they going to make the break across this field? Maybe. They've done it before. We know they're willing to. We know that they, they, they've got the ability to hold W across an open field. Um, you know, they can do it. Really just, they need to get... Fucking hell. Poor Glove going down. These rockets are just devastating. It's actually, actually disgusting. I think it's this guy mostly. I, I, you know, I recognised him putting a lot of these rockets across. Um, <laughs> they've been, they've either been close or, or on the money um, through a lot of this. They need to come take back the Iron Cross. So it's going to be difficult. They need to get some artillery in it. To really try and get control of it. Look at many players. CHMA have got in this point right now as they uh, as they really look to bolster the front side of this push across they make it across the first open field FOC well done to them go take a quick dive down uh, into the close action Diesel's back from his trip to the beach and I thought he was going to go say hello to the artillery player Diesel oh Jesus Christ it's hard to do hard to do the cam work down here Diesel Deals was warm zero. Gets taken down by one FOC player from the rear, though. Man's still up in this house. I mean, he's... Knife? <laughs> no knife, but basically on top of each other, I don't think he knew he was there. To be honest with you. Kao goes down. Powerfish is now the one. Satchel, boy. Satchel. Satchel, like your life depends on it. He's done it. There you go. What a champ. Gets the satchel placed. I went taking that one down. That'll clear out the house. Now we run, boy, run. Or not, actually, I guess. I mean, you just suicide at your own snatchel space. It's fine, I guess. You can always do that. Uh, we'll see how many kills this satchel gets um, very, very shortly, whether it's going to clear out this house. I don't know whether it reaches the backside of the house, so to be fair, Alfish actually manages to dive, takes down Aria. It does! Kills that entire house. Powerfish, lovely satchel. And then move away. No one there to capitalize on it, though, unfortunately for them. Now, let's take a quick look across here. We've got a lot of players back here um, on this deep defensive uh, positioning here. I don't know if FAC actually have any sort of progression around here. Um, to be fair, they you know, they can't... Unless it's just recon sort of in this DC column. But, again, are you that worried by recon? I don't know. I don't know if you are. Go take a look across at the church area. Still have some fight. It looks like FAC have managed to gain some ground here. You should be able to see um, a bit of a reflank come in, though, um, up here. I would have thought uh, from CHMA Butterdog. Oh, bless. That was never going to go well. It was never going to go well, was it? BT goes down. Lots of explosions here. Thanks for doing some absolute work with these buildings um, for right now. But FOC still in three-story here. They're actually managing to make their way up these uh, these hedgerows. Jeez, what is this? These guys are nuts. Like, they just go for these open field pushes. Like, all of the time. I love it. They just seem to know when they can pull it off. This is like an absolute red wave. Not a communism joke. Um... That's it, cancelled. Uh, yeah, but they're just swarming through. I mean, they're going to... Stitch may have to do something to deal with this. Or whether they can get an outpost up. Mr. Cheesecake in a good spot. Should be able to get the outpost up. Get some players into the rear. Deal with this, I would have thought. But FOC changing their tact a little bit here. Really going um, to try and claim this map control. I th it's got to be the right choice. I think it's got to be the right choice. But of course... You know, it's so easy to reflank onto this position. Uh, and uh, and it needs to be timed well um, with a sort of deep offensive pressure, maybe. Uh, maybe a little bit of front door pressure from the tanks just to really get the confusion going um, amongst the CHMA ranks. But most of that big red wave goes down. 
uh, and it doesn't come off, but they've got the outposts forward, which I guess is uh, is the crucial aspect of it, I would think. They've got some players into good spots, though, to be fair. They should be able to get some pressure into the guy and cross trenchway. In the with a couple of these trades. Warm Zero takes one down. Tyson's up. Love is in as well. We look to try and control these bunkers. Gives them a little bit of protection from artillery, I suppose. A little bit of cover, maybe. Oh, here we go. You see, now this is what I like to see. A little bit of something different. A little bit of pressure from the tanks elsewhere. Sakana and Galaxy pushing that medium tank forward. And then we've got Wicked... Um, and Lao Gambu up here as well, looking to try and progress their way through. Um, which is nice to see. It is good to see them put the tanks into a different zone. Get uh, just a little bit of uh, pressure elsewhere. Another red wave coming through. Slowly making this ground up here, FOC. Very, very slowly. Let's take a quick look at the map as to where we are here. Um, you can see we're sort of looking at this sort of area here within the square. They're finally getting themselves a little bit of map control. So again, if they can just push through the Iron Cross at the right time, at the same time they get towards this, uh, this uh, crossroads here. But if they see playing so narrow, um, they are going to get reflanked here by CHMA. Um, with the back line, or the, sorry, the uh, front line pressure. going you know, to just surround them a little bit, I would imagine. But it depends how quick FOC can be. To be honest with you, um, it will depend on a lot of it. Oh, but the tanks, they're pushing up. They are diving. What have we got down below? I'm really tired. I actually woke up just shortly before the stream, which is a bad idea. Knowing that I've got to go for 90 minutes, because obviously it was going to be fucking win seven. Everyone's favourite point. Could have been Chapel, could it? Couldn't have been Chapel. Alas, we've had some decent action. Or a win seven game so far today. HMA. Still controlling the trench way. One tank just prowling away. It's not a cat based tank, is it? It's a 76. I can't really use the cat based puns. Wasted that one, didn't I? I should have used that on a tiger. But FOC here should get squeezed out. I would have thought as we pan across this front line, but I mean, they are still making progression, which is crazy. Um, they are. Slowly making our way through. Will Aria bring the satchel forward? Will. <laughs> ah. There we go. Sorry, Chief. I shouldn't have said your name. Come on. Get the satchel up to that hedgerow. It's an easy kill. You got the free run up to the hedgerow and you decided to go into the front of it? I don't know. 70, 75. Still away, making its way around as well, actually, which is interesting. Don't tell me it's going to get an angle. Don't tell me it's going to get an angle. Oh, do tell me it's going to get an angle. I would love it. Everyone loves to see a tiger go down to a 76. I think the tiger might have might have been told there's a there's a 75 pushing it. I don't see that 75. Surviving much longer in this one. Oh, actually a little bit of a, a reposition. That tiger has led to a big shot from the 76 in the rear there. But on a... They fucking love a tank shot. They love a tank shot. A, a tank shot? Of course. Of course it's a tank. But I'm so tired. They love a turret shot. This is all they seem to fucking do in this game. Please just get the kill for once. You did so well. Oh, I'm being booed in the chat. Why am I being booed? I don't know why I'm being booed. Heidi's always been mean to me. Okay, well, FOC going for that another open field run onto the front door. And actually, this time, don't have much inside a win seven. There you go, big spawn wave. There you go. I've got players back. Ignore me. Ignore me. But they've got into the Iron Cross. And again, going to be able to, uh, to feed in. I'm just going to turn the music off. They've clearly is the first time you've been. No, never. 
Anyone, I have like, I like, it basically tells me when someone says, uh, talks about the music because, uh, it's integral to the stream because, uh, I can then be quiet and be dead spots and also, do you like the music? It's the best bit of the stream is what I've been told. Is that a fucking flamethrower out? What is this? Aria! <laughs> Stop memeing. You're losing. I don't. <laughs> and he goes down to the grenade anyway. Ah, oh, that's. Oh dear, oh dear, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Bringing out the flamethrower. Hang on, what? <laughs> what is going on? What are you doing? What are you doing here? What is the play? I don't know what the play is, but he's doing a play. Oh, I mean, the bombing run combo once again, 76 there to protect it. <laughs> he might have fucking satchel though. Um, bombing run, please. Goose, trip the grenade. Gets the underhand grenade. Perfect play. Terrible bombing run. Tank doesn't protect the outpost. Ball from them. But they're diving the tanks and they're making their way through the Iron Cross and the cat pressure's coming in. I, I, the 76 is in the point somehow. He's going to get taken out by a fucking AT gun in front of him. That's ridiculous. But <laughs> they've still got three tanks in the point. Don't even see the third one. Okay, one goes down to a satchel. Okay, two tanks left in the point. They have four in here. Four tanks are in here. And they go down so easily. This 76 is in, like, genuine trouble. Because he's got two satchel players Satty's on him. The satty is on, according to Glove. Never heard it called a satty, but thank you, Glove. That's what we're going to call it from now. The satty is on. This one's getting fucked. Double satchel? Double satchel. Okay, well, there you go. Thanks for playing, guys. I really appreciated you making that play. Um, it was really nice uh, of you to do so. They, it looks like they know there's one satchel in here. They're going to take down that one um, and then probably be slightly surprised by the other. Yeah, they don't know the other one's there, do they? Wicked goes down. Two in the point or in the tank. SCHMA. Fantastic anti-tank play. There you go. Everything's gone. All of the tanks said four in the point. All of them wasted because they just dived with very little purpose. And then CHMA... Well, I mean, Glove sounded like it was panicking, but the play did not sound like it was panicking. Um, and they kind of threw everything at that attack. I don't see them being able to get another one of those within the next 20 minutes. The play was there. The play was on. There is no denying that, but CHMA defended very, very, very well. Artillery is doing its work. I was going to dive in and see some of the close up fine, but what's the point? It's just artillery. It is just artillery. Jacobs, I just thank you very much for following. I do appreciate it. FOC Artillery doing absolute work in here. As they are just shredding players coming out of this point. Let's see, Jame. They've reclaimed back the crossroads. They've got some players up in the town. I don't know whether FOC have much up here, um, to be honest with you. What is that? Oh, it's a, f a flare. I thought it was a rocket. For sake. Shin and heaven. No, it was a rocket. I don't understand. What are you doing? What are you aiming at? Like you're shooting at max range. Or over max range. I have no idea what you're aiming at. Kind of ignore that one. But just down below, CHMA. What okay control for now? Uh, again, though. Why is there just no one controlling... KO. Burn. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Take down Rookie. Take down Warm Zero as well. Nice play from them. Gonna shut down this uh, uh, wider attack, but it is all about what is going on down here. Oh my fucking god, another 76 in the point. I, I don't have the capacity FOC for more of this. I'm too tired for your pushes here. Where are the CHMA tanks? 
Where are they? The AT are doing all of the work right now. Precision strike coming in. Don't know whose it is. Oh, there you go. VK. He'll be happy with that one. No denying that. X down. 76. Oh, fuck off. Is there another tank? You've got to be taking the piss. Where is this one? Oh, it's a ways off. Is it 76? Jeez, what is how did you have so many 76s lined up, ready to go? Good lord, everyone's just converting fuel. Everyone. Take a look at the map. It's been a little minute since we've done it. Um, oh, the resources are looking thin for CHMA. Oh, yikes. Not looking good down there. What have we got? We've got a medium being spawned in the southern HQ. We've got the free medium at mid. We've got... It's, Luke's has been pushed forward. And they've got one target. See? What? These guys are there for their taking. If the tanks had just done a little bit more work, just hadn't died so quickly. This was... There. They had it. They had so many tanks on the board. CHMA was so light on resources. The artillery can barely keep going. They've got no bombing runs, no strafing runs, no recon planes, nothing. These guys were there for the taking. But, oh my god, finally. Butter dog, please. Please tell me you're actually going to get some pressure on to win five. It's got to happen. Surely they'll get something. Get yourself a garrison up on, on hill five. That's okay for a garrison. Your room to build another one a little bit further down towards win five. And uh, and you'd be good to go. Oh, Lord. Artillery dropping. It's just right on top of an outpost as well. These guys. Oh, there you go. Big explosion. Coming in. FOC. Oh, they're looking thin. They committed everything. They committed everything into that point. Uh, into that cap. And it didn't pay off. It didn't come off. To be honest with you. Thanks. I loved the coordinated dive. I don't know what the... Do you remember that medium around the top? There's no need for the medium to be alive for that long. Um, and then to be taken down by a stationary AT gun is not the worst way to be taken down. Especially when it's right in front of you. But for right now, HMA have regained control. 76 is stuck. Hello? <laughs> They're going to get out. That'll be fine. Right. Didn't manage to take down the Lukes on the light tank. FAC, they, do st they, they did manage to sneak Jim in the back, it looks like. And they've been able to get a couple of players in. The squad leaders, which is nice. Heavenly's the one responding. Seems like Heavenly's kind of got that kind of flexy role today. Um, I don't think they've her outpost too much, though. Don't know whether... To be honest with you, I don't know whether she's been as effective as perhaps she could have been. She's a good player, no denying that. And she's got some great positioning as well. Um, we've seen that throughout this game. But I just don't think the team has used her outpost... Um, in that flexi role quite enough just yet. Um, but, good lord, look at that flare. How many players are FOC going to run across an open field? They're going for it again. I fucking love this. I love these guys so much. FOC. I just... You guys are absolutely... You just don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, they... <laughs> They don't give a fuck. They will, they will smoke and run every open field in this game. Like, guys, please pick, like, Kursk or something. I just want to see... Flamethrower's out! It's out again. I love it. I love it. In these trenchways, it's great. It's genuinely kind of funny to use in the trenches. Because you could just kind of spray it for, like, a full minute. And they just can't do anything about it. There's nothing they can do. And I just find it endlessly amusing. Uh, the smoke push didn't work this time from FOC. The HMA still got okay control over crossroads as well. But, I mean, they are being pressured pretty heavily here. Heavenly's got a big job to try and just get them to turn some heads her way. Mr. Cheesecake too. They need to get some players. Get some players into her outpost. I mean, where are they all? Why, why have we got players spawning up here? Like... I, I swear, Jimmy the Hand just... Did he spawn on that garrison? Because it was there before, I'm sure. So, if he spawned on a garrison, I will be annoyed. Because Heavenly's outpost is lovely. Very, very good. 
Butter Doug's down. He didn't make any progress. I, th I genuinely think Panic there has made the most amount of progress onto win five we've seen in this entire game. But they are going to squeeze this attack out. Look at this. Big presence here. Going to get squeezed, I would have thought. Um, they're, they're pressuring from the north. They're pressuring from the south. Um, and they're going to be able to do so um, pretty consistently. And they're going to be able to take these players out of the game, I would have thought. What do they have down here? Is it just an outpost? Do they have a garrison? An outpost. A little big explosion across. What got taken down here is probably a fucking diving 76 knowing them. Uh, no, it's Panzer 4. Okay, that's a relatively normal tank to have dying around this area. That's good. Don't know, like, again, the fuel economy, the economy in general is just kind of shitty um, right now. FOC have lost their little trench. There's going to have more open fields to try and push here. They say want to. A lot of players from CHMA to put into this trench line. Again, like, I, you, I don't think you need this many players here. You're just being fucked by tanks, to be honest with you. Um, so I'd probably try and get out of that area, get some more players into the Iron Cross, get some more players up here to just try and push out this attack, and they've actually successfully done so. I think they might have squeezed out FOC from the town, pushing back to the hedgerows. We've got just 12 and a half minutes left now in this game. Do FOC have another big attack in them? I don't know. Have to see. Doesn't look like they've got any sort of positioning to be able to do so right now. <laughs> I'm saying that. <laughs> they can put like half their team into the Iron Cross. Uh, would surprise me. They, they could always do that. It does happen every so often. As uh, Nagisa and Zul make their way in. Where's the artillery cooler? Where's the artillery cooler? I don't know. I'm trying to control it with a tank, I think. I'm trying to control this three-story um, with that uh, with that tiger in the background there. Will they will they progress through coolers at artillery? It's probably off. Um, but of course, I think that's just the wind taking it. He's probably trying to drop it right on the edge of this. And we probably will see Orzy. Nope, we'll see uh, whoever the other player was go down. Zul goes down to friendly fire as well. There's the pressure coming in through the Iron Cross. It's going to be shut down by artillery, but they've broken it before. They can break it again. Two tanks down below. What are they going to do with these? I wonder. There's Owen's smile on his face. 75 and 76 working together. Should. Oh, they almost have an angle, actually, onto this tiger, to be fair to them. Another fucking jeep. Jesus, stop. VK, stop spawning jeeps. Just, like, joyriding them around the point. Like, every time I've seen you, it's just around the point. I don't know. What is the plan? I'm going to be honest with you. If you've got a decent garrison network, it is way quicker just to spawn on the garrisons. Way quicker than run the jeep around. But alas, he's going for the jeep. Run the jeep into the back line or something. Drop some supplies back here and, and go for it. Get something on the go, please. Thank you, uh, Colonia, Agrippina, and Lebion for the follow. Do appreciate it. Always. HMA making their way up the hedgerow here. Eleth, Red 6. We've seen Red 6 do some work on these hedgerows through this game. Bomb G. Shirley. No! Red 6! You are a monster, Red 6. Absolutely are doing work on this area. Taking out Bomb G, which is no mean feat. We've seen him do some big work today. We've got 10 minutes left in this game. We're going to need to see something from FOC, and we know they're willing. Oh, no shot. I think that's the chance gone. The 76 is out of here. Goes down. Don't even see what takes him down, actually. Must have been a long peak from a tiger somewhere. Um, take a quick look at the map. Could be... Oh, it's not that 76. It could be this tiger here. A long peak. Onto it. Um, and that's so much of this opportunity is gone now, um, which is such a shame. Um, supplies, just, <laughs> ammo drop being dropped onto 
Um, recon uh, plane. House Gangster, if you're here, I will take all of the ammo boxes today on the friendly, uh, by the way, so I can flare the ever-loving shit out of the map. Um, I love, like, if your resource management is any good, a little bit of, like, meta talk, any, if your resource management is any sort, any any good, because, like, for the moment, CHMA, they had to kind of throw everything into the fence, I understand that's kind of what rinsed a lot of their resources here. So much death as well. Um, I don't think they've been able to get them encouraged up any time, or uh, recently at all either. Um, you know, if your resources are any good, you should have plenty of munitions laying around. Um, this bomber runs a fucking pointless most of the time. Both of runs are even worse. Um, so, how my boxes? It's, it's it's just a good call, in my opinion. Uh, and I'm only saying that because I'm playing a recall. But it's always nice to see them being used, because actually they do have a really, really good use nowadays. And I think a lot of people kind of thought when they first uh, first implemented them into the game, they were going to be absolutely dog shit. But of course we did come out with the foresight of the recon flare spam in comp. Um, they obviously predicted it and, uh, and introduced the flares um, and the ammo boxes um, in conjunction with one another. Um, it looks like CHMA are going to go for the narrow defense in the last eight minutes because they've dumped everything into the Iron Cross. Um, they're going to try and take control um, of the, this house um, just below us as well. So we should see them close this game out. It's a lot of ground FOC have to try and take and they don't have the heavy tanks to do it. Um, King Z back here um, has played very, very nice and defensively. Just stayed alive and that just makes them wary out pushing tanks in. They've got another um, tiger moving forward as well. Oh, I see what VK is doing. He's actually just dropping ammo everywhere across the point. Skankster, if you're watching. Heidi, I know you're here. There's the, uh, there's the Jeep plays and WTHA. I think it's, uh, I think it's a good call. Eleanor do actually jumps into the trench very, very well. Dives in, takes down one. Will he get... He does want the outpost. In fact, there's no squad leader here. He's done the damage needed to be done. Wiped out the outpost. The, uh, the spotter's gone as well. So that attack pretty much snuffed out, to be fair. It's just one good dive by uh, Kalindu. A fair play to him. Six minutes left. They've got to start capping with just two minutes to go. So really, just four and a half in this game. Um, so we'll see how they do. Butter dog diving. Takes down the squad leader. There's got to have been an outpost in here. I didn't see him take anything down. But I mean, with that many players in a small space, Butter dog's got a great job. Hopped out of SL, actually. Um, into assault to do so. They, uh... They've wiped out yet another of the FOC attacks. There's been great defense by CHMA so far against the choreographed attacks. They've done well to dive in and take out um, areas of pressure from FOC as well. And they've kept them at bay for a lot of this, though. Did have two very, very dicey moments. Oh, yikes. That's a frame drop and a half. Um, that's fun. I hope that didn't come through too bad on the stream. But CHMA still control in town. Very, very nicely played from them as they look to really keep control of as much of this territory as they can. Um, they're controlling all of those key zones incredibly well um, right now. And with very, very little time remaining um, in this game, I can't see FOC being able to make that dive uh, at all again within this, which is a real shame. I hope they do manage to get something going. Orzi has managed to get himself into the Iron Cross. I don't know whether they'll be able to feed plays into this, though. Isom is uh, up and, uh, and well progressed and making himself a bit of a nuisance. Same with Diesel Shaz as well. He must have just taken down that outpost, takes down the squad leader as well. Um, and the f <laughs> flamethrowers. <laughs> oh, the flamethrowers. Oh, I love to see it. Oh, FOC, they've got some players into the Iron Cross. It's just not enough. I'm, I'm, try I'm trying my best to hype up Orsi's position here, but I don't see anything coming from it unless it's really fuck up. They'd have to really fuck up um, in this position, to be honest with you. Two and a half minutes to go. The 75 is diving. They have to. They've got to. What purpose do you have if you're not just diving in? I think they could shut this off with artillery, could they not? Paula could absolutely do some work here. 
with the artillery to shut this down. Spherical, though. Oh, I don't think anyone's looking at him. Don't shoot. Oh, he is shooting. He's taking out two, actually. Takes out three. Oh, spherical. Up and off. He crosses. Now, oh, game's over. There you go. Two minutes to go. Back the iron cross without crossroads. Assuming they don't have crossroads, let's go take a quick pan down. No, they don't. Without either of those two sections, there's no way you're taking this in the next minute. And 50 seconds unless, of course, the Joe head, as they've been calling it, comes into play. It's landed. No fucking shot as it landed. <laughs> don't tell me. They're protecting it with the 75. The garrison's right here. The garrison's right here. Come on. Also, big spawn. Big spawn wave. <gasps> They've wiped the garrison, the recall take. Big play. Hidden shadows. It's going for the medium. This recall take is going for the joyride. <laughs> he gets taken down. Hidden in shadows. It's going to kill the medium. Oh, big spawn. Takes down the medium. That's a lot of this pressure gone in, in the form of the tank. Mav goes down though. They've got the pressure in. Come on. Keep me hyped. Keep me hyped. Stuart is diving. Oh, they, I fucking love FOC. No, the artillery's not dropping here, is it? Don't do it to me, cooler. Don't do it to me. And a tank shell. Wipes it. The outposts are up. I'm going to try and stay hyped as best I can. They've got the outposts up. There's no fucking way. The tiger's in the point. Look at the big swarm way back. They've just got everyone into the fucking point. Everyone in. I don't. There's no way, FOC. Can do this now, CHMA. They're gonna, they're gonna drop all fucking 50 players into this point. It would be so funny. B strike lands. It doesn't take the 70. Uh, the sorry, the, the tiger, um, which is unfortunate. They've still got players in the point. They just need someone. Where's my emoji to go on a tear? Where's Hyperion? Where are they? Get them into the point. They could do some work here. The artillery is still absolutely shredding. We're not going to see 300 kills from FOC's artillery. It's such a shame. Butter Dog has actually dived. He's going to take down the outposts. Satchel goes off. Butter Dog's in position. He's done so well. That's my dog. Uh, nuts. In the background, but with a minute 30 left to go. It is the end of the game. We're going to take a look at the stats. CHMA win versus FOC. It was damn close, though, from uh, FOC. They nearly did the business um, within this one. Let's take a look at the stats. Look at the fucking artillery. 288 kills from FOC. 239 from Cooler. Of course, it's been a map being one of those ones where actually the one protected artillery gun does do... A lot of damage, I think, because there's tank snipes on to Axis artillery. The Allied artillery is on a fucking beach. It's not exactly the most fun place to be an artillery person. Um, and so they've, uh, you know, they've had a good field day here, the artillery players. Um, who's this guy in a tank doing some work as well? 111 kills. Quokka on the MG42 getting 96 jinx here. On the FG42, Sniper with 93, Hyperion we saw using the STG, Spherical with the G43, we've seen Momoji doing well as well, Coco Bananas we've seen on that MG all game, and Diesel Shaz we've seen with the STG as well. What a play from them, big uh, plays to players like Glove and Powerfish um, and Eric as well, fighting over. Some real shitty terrain, glove and power fish I've seen within the Iron Cross wall game. Um, so fair play to them. Really, really well done. That is the end of the game, though. We're going to quickly switch back into uh, the stream so we can have a, a quick command of the commander, as we always do. And we'll have a quick pan down, see how they did, how the tank squads did. The Aegis tank, not too great. Um, just a thousand score for them. All or 2,000 on the artillery jinx 700 with the sniper miko did not get a single fucking kill all game yikes look fair play to him just just flaring but not one okay
you know, the flares are important. He's done his job. Cannot deny that. Let's take a look at the, uh, the FOC scores as well. Some of them have started to leave. We'll take a quick pan down here as we go. 1,483 there um, for the FOC artillery guy, I think. So fair play to them. But that's the end of the game. Thank you very, very much for hanging out today. And I hope you all enjoyed that one. We're going to end this stream here. Let's take a quick look at the Discord, though, because I know we've got some more games coming up later today on the stream. So let's give those uh, some shout outs, not official ones, because I don't actually know how to do that. Das Altberg's about to type in the chat and tell me how to do it, though. I have no doubt about it. We've got Greyhounds versus ESPT on SMDM being streamed by The Fat Egg. We've got Phoenix versus TL on Stalingrad being streamed by Logical Lee in English and Ledesweg um, in German. And then we've got um, Goff versus EG being streamed by Quick Mix in English and Buffinator in Russian. And they are playing on Hill 400. And those are all starting at around 6 p.m. UTC um, or there and thereabouts. So plenty of action still within the seasonal. Do appreciate you all sticking around and hanging out with me. I hope you'll have a good rest of your day. We'll see you all next time.